Hello all and happy Wednesday. Um, I wanted to just check in with you guys about a couple things. First, remember we have a Kahoot Live um, during office hours if you want to join in. Um, secondly, um, just make sure you're staying on top of your assignments. And if any of you want to do an OP World, let me know. Um, and then I wanted to share a little Debo that I read um, today. So it says, um, it's based on John 13, 1 to 17. And the verse um, here is John 13, 13 to 14. It says, you call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. So um, then this is what the devotional kind of goes through. It says, Jesus takes the posture of a servant. When Peter tries to tell Jesus what to do, Jesus, Jesus speaks as master. Um, and so here we see that Jesus is powerful, and yet he acts as a servant. Um, okay, so it goes on to say, Jesus teaches again and again that in the kingdom of God, the strong serve the weak, and whoever wants to be first must be a slave of all. So it's not easy to understand this. It can seem upside down to us because it is the opposite of the way the world has worked since ancient times. Um, that's why Peter is confused and why many Christians are still confused about power today. Christians still struggle with how to act when they have power. Sometimes they act as power signifies God's special favor and they can do whatever they like with it. Um, so Jesus gave us a better example. He did not give up his earthly power. Um, he used it to help people who had less power. True, the disciples could have washed their own feet, but Jesus used foot washing to illustrate how he came to serve and teach others. And once the disciples knew Jesus, they were to serve others and teach about him using the power that he gave them. We can do the same. Using the power he gives us to serve and teach people who don't know him yet. So um, I just want to encourage you guys as you are hanging out with your parents um, to, or your siblings um, to find a way to serve somebody other than yourself. Um, so take, take an opportunity to speak um, and see if there's something you can do that's maybe unexpected for somebody that you're interacting with. Um, whether it's helping to cook dinner or don't make a mess, um, or cleaning up a mess, um, doing some extra gardening just for funsies, um, but just seeing how you can serve, um, your family in this time. Um, yeah. So anyways, miss you guys. Hope you're doing well and I will see you on Zoom.